all started so off with something really, really sinister. <coughs> That's what they used to release the gas out of. But when they were setting up, they would sit them in these, in rows, and then they would, the charge would, would set this off and it would just roll across the battlefield. So that's a nice way to start. Yeah, sinister. So as you start the journey down, you get, you get this bunker. Strong point. Pillbox, whatever you want to call it. Now the interesting thing with this is, this was actually built by the British and <clears throat> the Germans held the land where the, uh, the chateau was, which was over that way. So the British built it and then uh, 1916, it was, it was captured by the Germans. So of course you've got this lovely doorway and of course the British are over that way, so the Germans built this L shape to protect the doorway. Let's have a look. Oh, this is where I get flipped up. So that's Want to spend too much time in here? Now, when I was in Polygon Wood, some of the um, pillboxes there, there was one that was captured, and about a day later, a British soldier went in there, and he found like 18 German soldiers just dead, but there wasn't a mark on them. What happened is uh, a shell had hit the top of the pillbox and because of the concussion just killed them all so they weren't actually hit by anything but it's just the concussion but the pillbox was pretty much un unscathed I mean they're really well constructed but it doesn't really matter if it's still going to kill you does it I suppose and here's a picture you can see that's where the uh, one of the craters are and that's the pillbox I'll get some better ones up, but they're still interesting. I'm not really too keen on having this stuff. This should be elsewhere. Actually attached to it is a bit irritating, but you can see what the, the Chateau Wood, that's, that's the land that I'm on now. Crazy. So this is, uh, that was where the mines was set off. You got a crater there. Oh, actually, this is a good picture. I think you can see him. What's that? That's here. Mental. There's the other block house. Which you'll see. I've done a drone video, so you'll see that. I'll, I'll mix it in with this. She was a lot sunny when I did that.
is your, your trenches, which again you see more of on the drone video. This is called elephant iron. They used it to build the roofs of dugouts and cover over parts of trenches that they needed to be covered. You've got screw pickets. So at the bottom of that, you'd screw it into the ground. You'd run your barbed wire and whatnot over it. Here's something interesting, is it? There's a load of these. Now, you can see where this has been fired and the rifling has, has bitten in. So that'd be brass. So beforehand, before it's fired, that would just be a, a solid ring. And once it's fired, the, uh, the rifling on the barrel cuts in. And so you get this design. another view you can see yeah so these being shrapnel rounds what actually happened so this from about here would be filled with like ball bearings here would be a charge and there would be a plate with a rod at the top and when it landed the plate would set off the charge and then it would push everything out the top. So not out, it would up the top. So that's why you've got a load like that. Yeah, so that is actually a shrapnel round. And you can see how many there are. It's blooming well, I mean, there's, there's hundreds here, absolutely hundreds. The drone gives you a, a different view of the uh, of the trenches. So obviously, they've had to put the uh, the corrugated there to keep the sides from from falling in. But this is a, this is an original trench line. This is in the uh, grounds of the old chateau which got completely destroyed. The place I'm staying is actually built on the, uh, the site of the stables.
The only place you're not allowed to walk is on this. So there is some elephant iron. I've got no idea, I don't know. Which makes you want to walk on it, really. But then it's probably, I don't know, could just be uh, home for the barking toad or something. And so you're not allowed to disturb it. But, uh, God knows. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some more gear here. There's an awful lot of trip over. So you've got <coughs> barbed wire, more, more shrapnel shells, random gear, screw pickets, and whatever else they've just hauled up out of the ground. Ooh, it just turns something off there. I mean, when you see the video of, the, of them digging up the road that I was uh, I filmed yesterday, I only filmed a couple of snippets because they're this guys working, so they don't really want someone filming too much. But they were they were digging up bits and pieces all the time. It was absolutely crazy. And you're talking something like two meters across. Uh, I mean, the moment they dug up that bayonet, which you'll see, it's like history in uh, history in action. It's just crazy. But yeah, so you can imagine you're trying to plant some uh, flowers and you're digging up shells and that. So, uh, and actually, there was a there was a they had actually found another soldier in that part of the road where where I visited yesterday. Uh, that was like the day before. Uh, still there, but just covered over. You know, it's not not for gawking at. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is interesting. Look at this one. So you can see the rifling part is on here and up there. Let's see where it's dug in. I don't know. I keep going on about it. I find it quite interesting, especially when because yesterday they showed me some live shells and it was just a it's a solid band it's not until it's shot that the rifling cuts in obviously <laughs> what is this? i don't know what that is i don't know that could be the geezer's cricket box for all i know so it's not <laughs> yeah. yeah another shallow Anyway, I'm going to chuck up some drone videos interspersed with this and we'll see how it goes. I mean, it might be interesting, it might not. Well, I like it anyway, so whatever. Right, cheers. I'm off to Eep now. <laughs>